Alright, so uh, many people were asking how do you rig your tanks or like, how do you rig the tank? Well, in this video, I will explain briefly how do you... I will explain how do you rig the tank. I won't be explaining how to animate it, but you can do that yourself, right? So, just watch the video through. So this model, I got it from the toolbox, but actually this model is from War Thunder. I can tell because I'm a War Thunder sweat. Uh, the thing I like about War Thunder models is that there's interior inside them, which could be really nice for animating. So whoever imported the model into the toolbox did a good job because he separated the hole from the turret, which is um, really appreciated. It would make our, our job like 100% easier. Just how we do with guns or we get really any objects, we have to add a part. Now we take the part, we scale it, we try, but you you really don't have to do it that, but um, I will. You should try and scale the model to the size of the actual model as best as you can. Try to scale the part to the size of the model. All right, so I think this is good enough. Now you take the part, get the transparency to one, which will make it invisible, and now you just... Yeah, so you take the part, you, made it, you make it transparent, and you rename it to main part, transparency to one, and then you take the tank model that I renamed to tank, because why not? I know it's a TT72. And now you take the primary, primary part and the properties, you click on it, and then you click on the main part. There we go, a gray box is, su is supposed to appear just like on the ready model. You go into the whole part, which was uh, nicely separated by whoever imported it into the toolbox. You go into the hole, and now you find the biggest part of the hole. I found this part to be the biggest, this one. And then you rename it to body, all right? You rename it to body, that's important. And then you also try to find the hatch if you want to animate the hatch. I found out that I separated already. So you find the hatch, which is going to be a mesh part. And then you put it into a model. You can do that by pressing Control G. So you rename the model that you have just made to driver hatch. Oh, and the model is supposed to be different from the part itself. So driver hatch. Um, M, because main part, why not? Who cares, right? All right, so now that we have everything separated that we want to be animatable, we go into plugins, we go into moon animator, we go into easy weld, and then instead of parts, we go into model. So now you select the model of the hull, and then you select the, the mesh part that is the body, that is the biggest part of the model. Then you press on the weld model. So now all the welds, are you going to be inside the part body? The hatch is uh, welded and it's unanimatable. So you just delete the weld. You open the model that is the driver hatch. You go into ports. Make sure the animatable thing is on. Then you press on body first. That, that's really important because base part is supposed to be the body. And then you press on the hatch that is supposed to be the target part. And then you press on join in place. Now there we go. What you want to do is in the easy weld. You go into the hole again. First, you click on the main part. And the main part is going to be the base part. And then you press on the biggest part of the um, tank, which is the body, which we re renamed to body. It's the target part, and you press on join in place. So the main part is supposed to have a single weld, a single animatable weld that is going to be the main body. Now we have to deal with the turret. This is going to be a little bit more complicated. Whoever imported the model, Good job, because he did the favor for us and he dealt with the hatches. So now you simply go through all the mesh boards and you look for what you want to be animatable. All right, so yeah, we won't be able to animate the machine gun because the, bre the little handle that holds the machine gun is uh, connected with, um, with the ring. So locate the turret breach and also locate the little paper thing that is on the breach. So we have the breach, rename it to breach. I guess you can do that. But then add a little something on the end because the model that you will be placing the breach in cannot be the same name as the breach itself. So rename it to something like breach, breach, M, because main part. And then we found the little paper thing that, that is on the breach, rename it to bag, sure, bag. And now what you do is you select the bag, you select the breach, and you press command G. Now you rename the model into breach. Now I will just rename all the models that are here, which is barrel, 
then we got a hatch R, we got um, loader hatch L. They cannot be the same name. They need separate names or well it will glitch. Now all the parts inside, uh, this is gonna be a little problematic, the fact that there is multiple parts. Just select the bigger part, which will be the bottom one, and you rename it to body hatch R, and the other hatch you just go into, you do the same thing. So basically body hatch, hatch L, and now you go into loader, same thing, body loader. Body water, good enough. And same with the breach, because it's two parts. Uh, we will take the breach itself, which is this thing. Uh, so we already did with the breach, which is breach M. We don't have to really do anything. Now that everything is separated inside, look at the biggest part of the turret, just like we did with the hole. But now you just have to find the biggest part, which actually might be this. That's like 80% of the turret. We name it to body turret. So now we have to weld everything together just like with the body, but a little bit different. Going to easy weld, going to parts, we won't be doing the model thing because it will be a little hard to separate everything again. So we, we deselect animatable, just like that. Now we take the body turret, which is the main part, and then just, you just have to select everything in the turret, just like that. Everything that won't be animatable, so that is not the hatch, there is not the breach, there is not the barrel. And now you simply press join in place. Now all the welds are supposed to be in the body turret. Now enable animatable backup. Now select the body turret first. It's always supposed to be the base part because everything is gonna be welded onto the body turret. So like when you rotate the body turret, everything will rotate with it. So the body turret is the base part. Now you select the breach, join in place, and now it is connected with the breach. But the thing is, you have the bag, and the bag is not welded. So now you disable animatable. You take the breach as the base port. Then you take the bag as the target port. And you press on join in place. And now the bag is welded onto the breach. So when you move the breach, the bag will move with the breach. That's how it works, basically. And since the breach is already welded to the body tray, the bag will rotate with it. Since the barrel is part of the breach, right? I forgot to weld the barrel onto the breach. So to do that, you enable animatable. You select the breach M, which is the main breach. And then you control select main barrel. And now join in place. So now when you animate the breach, the barrel will move with it, right? That's how it works. Same logic, same relay, everything. Now you just have to do the same with the hatches and the water thing. There we go, so I'm done with all the parts. Now you might think that we're done, right? But you're mistaken, we're not done. Now the turret is not connected to the hole. I will just rename this to turret. And now, same exact logic as before. You go into the hole, you go into the body, which we did previously. It's gonna be the base part. And now we take that body turret which is going to be the base part for the turret. Control click on it. Now we have a target part. And now we have to keep it animatable if you want the turret to rotate and you press join in place. So now the turret is welded onto the hole and everything else is welded onto the turret. So like the barrel, the breech, the hatches, everything is welded onto the turret. So we are not quite done yet because if you open moon animator, new moon file, you select the complete rig, you press OK. You can animate it already, right? It's animatable. But there's a little catch. Let me try and rotate the turret. Uh, uh, let's try to rotate the breach. Let's try to open this hatch. Um, I think that's a little incorrect. So how do we fix it? We take the free plugin, which is edit rig. Now we select the tank. Now the tank will be invisible. You will see dots. There you go. Because my scale was on point 0.1. You should change the step to point, point zero zero 0.001. Right? Because that's the easiest to operate with. Then the scale to point 0.1. Because then you can make it more precisely. So now you can see all of these things. All these things are welds. 
all right? Basically, bones inside the rig. So now, how do we fix the problems that we saw? Let's look at the hatch, for example, the driver's hatch. So there it is. It will even show you in the export that is the driver hatch. You're going to the scale and put it on point 0.1. Now you take the weld and you move it into right position where it's supposed to be moving from. So for example, I'm pretty sure the hatch is supposed to be opening from this little thing. There we go, this should work. Now we do the exact same thing with everything. So for example, you see this um, hatch? Never mind, this is the weld. So as you can see, it's the body hatch out. It shows you in the Explorer. And now I'm pretty sure this hatch is supposed to be opening from uh, from this way. And you can see the uh, connection part, which is this little tube. So now we move it this way. Now we move it up. And now you just have to align it the best you can with the uh, little tube. Yes, yeah, so I aligned it pretty, pretty well. I think that's good enough. Now the little outer water thing, same thing. Body water, you can see in the Explorer, we just move it to the left. Oh, actually we might have to move it up and now to the left. No, this hatch, there's the connection, body hatch R, move it up. There we go, I think it's aligned pretty well. And now the turret, so for the turret, you have to find the connection of the turret, which is this little thing. Now you have to find the little ring inside. That's the ring, as you can see, inside the model. So we can move it down, no problem. It won't break the whole thing. So now try to align it the best you can. Uh, I think that's good enough, right? Now you could get it up just for the sake of uh, keeping it like organized. And now we have to do the same with the breach. That's connection of the breach all the way there. We move it forward. I think that's forward enough since it rotates here. Okay, so now we're actually done and the rig is actually complete and it is ready to be animatable. You can do really anything with it, new rig animation. So look at the hatch. Um, how well the hatch opens, how well it works, really depends on how much time are you ready to spend on like aligning it the best you can, right? I didn't align it perfectly or like the outer world thing. Um, you will have to rotate the bone. You can do that the same way with the edit rig plugin. Same with this, you have to rotate it, right? A little bit to the side. This opens very well. And the real tank, I'm pretty sure it goes up a little, like this, a little up, and then, oh, and then like this. And then let's try the breach. And the breach works too. You can move it a little forward because as you can see, it's clipping inside so you will have to move it a little bit forward but you can do that really yourself and the barrel if you're shooting you can like move it back you know just like so that's that was the tutorial for the tank rig because i know a couple of people were asking how do i rig the tanks and i haven't seen even a single tutorial on how to do it on youtube so uh there you go